Welcome to my podcast. This is a podcast where I'll be teaching you all the systems and strategies you need in creating your visibility, so you can turn your passion for coaching into a profitable business. I'm your host Michelle Quay. I am a visibility coach, content and email marketing strategist, international speaker, and author, as well as the founder of Elevate Life Coaching. Let's just say that I know a few things about overcoming seemingly impossible obstacles in life and in business. I'm on a mission to be the champion that helps you to get to the top of your mountain one courageous step at a time. Welcome to the show. So today's topic, we're going to talk about the five categories of social media posts that you must try. Now, before we actually go to those five categories. Let me just explain a little bit、uh, on why this is a topic and why this is a thing. So I work with a lot of heart-centered women coaches who have a big mission and one central mission to do good in this society, in this world, and many of them. Show up on social media because they're teaching others to live a better life, to eat better, to be healthier, to be happier, to have more abundance in their in in their life. And so, when you became a coach, chances are you didn't have that、um, mindset of I'm going to make a profit. You enter coaching because you want to make an impact. But little did you know that by entering your coaching industry and having a business and being an entrepreneur, there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more before you can start making that big impact. So the thing that a lot of women coaches I work with, and they're very heart centered. They're all service based mindset. So they want to help. They want to be in the world and be. An influence for others to be the change agent for others, and so making profit is usually the last thing that comes to their mind. They're not about making profit. Profit is great, but money doesn't really buy that fulfillment, that achievement that you want to, and the reason why you became a coach. You want to do something that you love. And that makes you feel that you're adding value to the environment, to the world, and you truly believe. And this is how I believe too: that life has a bigger purpose, and that is the reason why you became a coach. And that was the reason why I became a coach. I didn't just think about like, oh, how many figures am I going to making? I thought about that. I want to make an impact. I want to inspire more people so that they can experience something that I had experienced. Right, so that was the reason why I entered coaching industry. I became a coach first because be, before I became a marketer, <laughs> it was just something that's random and became my niche. My niche found me, right? But you know, when I first entered the coaching industry, I thought I'm going to change life, and that's all I was thinking about. So I was looking for ways to make more value, add more values to people's life. How do I do that? I do. I go on social media. I create video. I write blog posts. I, I'm like pretty much everywhere. I wrote a book, and all these things that's coming out from a service heart. But the problem of being a heart center woman coach is that you don't want this aggressive way of marketing yourself. But you know, you you know, you do have to market your coaching package, right? And that's the dilemma that I found myself sitting in, and that's the dilemma that I a lot of my、uh, clients are experiencing. They don't want to market themselves. They don't want to put themselves under the spotlight because, you know, truthfully, the clients really have the answer to to、uh, their own life, right? So I'm just here as a facilitator. But in order to become that facilitator in someone else's life, you would have to talk about your coaching package. You would have to talk about all these great, amazing things that you're doing. So, in a way, you are marketing yourself, whether or not you like that word marketing, right? And that was the the whole reason why I I was a coach first and then became a marketer. Um, most people, most marketers are the other way around, right? Because they're they're really expert in marketing, but then later they became a coach, coaching someone else in the marketing. But I'm the complete opposite 
I was a coach first. And having gone through that journey of having to figure out all these marketing strategies and marketing uh, ways that feels authentic, it feels good to me. I had to like figure a lot of these things out. So my hope is that by sharing these tips and strategy with you, it will make your time and, and, and the struggles a lot shorter and a lot easier so that you don't have to go through what I went through. <laughs> and it was very discouraging to say the least, right? Because when you are posting on social media and no one really care about it, or when you are writing a blog post and no one really like tell you how amazing it is or how, how um, unhelpful it was, no matter what it is, you would like to hear something, not just like those silent crickets that you hear all the time. That's what I'm hearing right now. <laughs> so, so that was my struggle. Um, so how do you, how do you actually market yourself without feeling like you're yelling on the top of the mountaintops, right? Right. Run, yelling across the whole entire universe and no one really uh, uh, listened to it and, and receiving it. So the five categories of social media posts that you must try um, that would actually help you to attract your clients, engage them and invite them into your space without feel like it's that yucky, um, you know, the pushy way of marketing yourself. And, and that's something that we're going to talk about today. All right. I do have a gift for you at the end of this video. Um, this is something new I just created. So it's like, it's just kind of like cookies. You know, I, I always use that analogy of giving, giving out cookie. I, I love giving out cookies to everyone. So <laughs> you get a cookie, you get a cookie, right? Kind of like over at Winfrey, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so I just actually took out from the oven something very new, brand new, and I wanted to offer it to, to all of you and I wanted to give it away. So be sure to stay till the end of the video because I am going to share that link with you so that you can grab my cookie. All right, so what are the five categories of social media posts that you must try? Um, these are the top five that I have found that have helped me tremendously because it takes a lot of that, that, that anxiety, that overwhelming feeling, waking up in the morning and not knowing what should I be posting today. So what I typically do is I will plug in all these top five categories onto my monthly calendar, whether you are a digital planner person or you're a paper planning person, what I would recommend is you take those five categories and open up your calendar and you plug it in into your uh, weekly calendar. So you have five days. I'm assuming that you're taking a day off on Saturday and Sunday so that you can spend time with your family, right? So you have five days out of the week and you can plug into every single day, a different type categories of posts, social media posts that you can share with your audience. And I'll give you some example of what falls into each categories. All right, you ready for this? I hope you are you ready to get my cookies. All right, so if you're watching this as a replay, I would still love for you to drop me a blue heart if you're watching this from LinkedIn. If you're watching this from YouTube, then go ahead and drop me a red heart. And if you're in my Facebook group, then go ahead and drop me a purple heart. You are the courageous one. All right, so the five categories are, first category is something along brand awareness. You, your company, your business need to be seen, heard, and known, right? So the first category is sharing something that talk about your business, who you are, what you do, and why you're doing it. And those are the important element that goes into that initial brand awareness. People need to know that you actually have a business. So what are some of the type of examples that you would be able to post on those days when you're talking about your brand awareness? Things like your inspirational story. So if you are like me, um, or you have gone through some uh, healing process, whether it is trauma, it's uh, uh, something that was challenging for you or something that had uh, a, a kind of like a transformational story to them, those would be great to talk about um, the brand awareness day because chances are those are your moment of this is why I became a coach, 
right? We all have gone through a transformational period where we realize that, hmm, you know, if my life was this way, chances are other people are feeling the same way, right? So how can I help um, by sharing my story to them? And this is the reason why I have a coaching company, right? Part of that why is a great um, example of what you can share on those brand awareness day. Brand awareness simply says that you talk about something about your company, about your business, about yourself, about why you started the company. What is your mission of your company that you have? Okay, so those are an example, great example to share. You can also share uh, some trendy topics that's within your niche. Maybe you are a mindset coach. So what are some of the trendy topics that you can talk about? Well, right now, there's a lot of people talking about like stress and burnout uh, or overwhelm. Um, there's people being afraid of, uh, for example, I, I saw a lot of like judgment posts, like judgment what is it about judgment? Like, how are you judging people? And how do you change that team dynamic um, when people are not working closely together? A lot of these topics, because, you know, that word came came up again, right? The great resignation. But um, so you, you, you decide how is that related to your niche? And you can talk about that um, in your brand awareness state because you have a business and this is one of the area that you're specializing. So you go ahead, talk about, the trending topics within your niche. So that's the first category. The second category is something that's very uh, authorities, uh, establishing or building your authority. Things like maybe you were on a podcast interview. That would be a great authority building uh, type of social media post that you can share. Not only do you help promoting someone else's podcast, but they also allow you to be seen as, well, I'm getting an invite on the podcast. So it must be, must mean that, you know, you are speaking on a specific topic that makes you somewhat the expert in that particular uh, topic that you're speaking on. So authority building uh, pose would be, something, would be something like, or maybe sharing your certification. If you just got certified as a new coach, then please, by all means, brag about yourself. All right. So put your certification out and let people know that you got certified. That is something that also makes you stand out. So talk about your certification. Talk about all your um, uh, niche related or specific uh, uh, industry related infographic. Um, I love those infographic. Number one, it's graphic. It's very visual. It's uh, easy to understand. So if you're sharing something uh, uh, that you have created, or maybe it's your signature program that you have created, and you have one of those uh, infographic, that would be a great post to share on those authority building building days. Uh, what else? Your podcast or, or your blog post. Um, I know a lot of people focus on writing the shorter version, like maybe your social media post or, or you know, Instagram or nowadays it's the reel, right? A lot of people are rushing into TikToks and Instagram reel and even Facebook. Now, nowadays, there's a lot of uh, reel. It's promoting reel. So if you're doing video, those are short form. But if you have a blog post, then by all means, repurpose it and share that on your social media so that people know that these are the specific topics that you talk about and you focus on. Hey you, are you ready to unleash your story but all you hear are just crickets on your social media? You are finding yourself stuck and not sure what to write about on your Instagram or on your social media platform. The idea of posting on social media about your coaching business is just so overwhelming that you find yourself getting caught up in questioning what type of content you should post, what should you share, and most importantly, what's actually worth sharing. What if I told you that there is a simple and easy to follow way of posting on social media that will spark the fire of your audience heart and generate more conversations? Grab a copy of my ultimate guide of what to post on social media with 100 social media post inspiration that gets the conversation going so you can grow your coaching business without feeling like you're stuck in the writer's block when you're not even a writer and keep those crickets away. Head over to download.braveyourbrand.com and get an instant download 
by clicking on the download button now. So that's the second category, authority post. The third type of post that you should be sharing and you must try is something around community building. Uh, community building just means that, well, I'm a big connector, so I love connecting people, connecting person A to connecting person B, and there's magic that happens. And, and this is uh, my, my favorite type of pose to pose is the community building. I love mentioning a super fan. I love hearing feedback from my audience. So a lot of times, if you're following me on uh, Facebook, you'll notice that I ask a lot of questions to my audience, and I just love to have the conversation going. And sometimes it's not necessarily related to specifically what I do, but it's a great conversation starter. And it's also a great way to understand your audience. Who is in your audience? What do they like? What kind of personality they have? So anything that would spark the conversation going so that people would get to know you and you get to know them, um, that would be a great community building post. Okay, so mention a super fan. I'm sure you have super fan in your life who would jump on any type of service that you offer out there and they would not ask a single question whether or not this is right for them. I had a story where I was offering a five day challenge and one of my super fan, she hopped on and she immediately uh, uh, bought it. She bought it. And I, I remember I was only charging $79 back then. And without a question, without anything, she put in and signed up just like that. And then so later on, I had to reach out to her. I'm like, hey, Chris, uh, I noticed that you bought my program, but did you know what this program is about? She, she, she said to me, she replied, and she's like, no, but anything that you put out there, I just love it. <laughs> That is the type of super fan that you want to promote, you want to mention, you want to care for, because those are the type of people that you need more in your life. Um, so community building would be another type of social media post that you, you, you must try. You should try starting today. Okay, Engage your audience, invite them to give you feedback understand and just have a conversation, a person-to-person -person conversation. Those are great human connectors. All right, so that's type uh, category number three, community building uh, uh, type of post. Category number four, uh, promoting your business. Now, this would be a great opportunity to specifically market your business, right? And I'm using the word market. I know a lot of people, a lot of my women coaches, they don't use the word marketing because they hate that word marketing and selling, but they don't have a choice. <laughs> they would have to talk about their business if they want to have a business, right? So if you don't want to talk about it as in promotion or marketing or selling, then talk about sharing, okay? All we're going to do is sharing what is it that you love to do? And just so happen that what you love to do, you will also like to get some monetizing return out of this, okay? So you can promote your business, market your business, selling your business, or uh, monetizing whatever that you love to do, okay? Um, how do you, how do you, what type of uh, example can I give you on the promoting your business part? Uh, things like your, you can do a behind the scene. That's say, for example, you are uh, creating a course. Uh, creating a course is a big deal, right? Not everyone, uh, not every coaches who decided to wake up one day and then say, you know what, today I feel like I'm creating a course. I'm going to go for it. You're creating a course because you really passionate about helping others. So either, either talk about your behind the scene or the best way of sharing a behind the scene is having a video or taking a photo, a snapshot of what's going on. Give people a sneak peek of what's coming and, and just let people know ahead of time to expect this is going to come out when. And so this is a great time to actually talk about your business. If you have a program that you would like to promote, those are the days and, and the type of pose that you want to focus on in promoting that particular program or that service that you have or offer. Right. Um, if you have a podcast, if you have a YouTube, anything that you want to promote are great on those promoting your business day. Now, the fifth 
type, the last type of categories that you should totally try starting today, if not this week, is conversation starter. <clears throat> this kind of, this kind of go back to the community building portion, right? You would not have a business without the people. And so to me, my people are first, like my people, I would place them first. And so a lot of what I post has to do with engaging the audience, keeping them engaged. And I don't necessarily want to sell to them, but you know, occasionally I would mix in uh, some of those things that I am promoting, I am, I am uh, focusing on, I am offering, but majority of the time I want to get to know them. I want people to feel that they are welcome onto my social media feed. So I will start any type of conversation, whatever that I can get people to feel comfortable and invite them into my space, which is why I pass out cookies to everyone. <laughs> All right, um, I got sidetracked with a cookie. So conversation starters, our examples of these would be something like you can share a recent trip, a trip that you take. So uh, last week, it was Thursday, I went on this trip to Memphis. So I was sharing a lot of um, my posts uh, that, during that trip. Those are conversational started. And I start asking people, have you been to Memphis? And have you done, done this? And one of the questions that I had asked was, um, what is your favorite Elvis Presley song? Um, I happened to visit uh, Elvis, Elvis Graceland when I was in Memphis. And it, it was, it totally reminded me of, I used to listen to a lot of uh, Elvis song. I didn't even realize it, but I, that's what I was doing. So I woke up one morning and that morning, the first question I asked to my audience was, what's your favorite Elvis Presley song? And I got people starting to reply and commenting on it and sharing their favorite song. And you can, you can get to know a lot about who is replying, who's responding, and just get to know them on a personal level. And I think being a heart-centered woman coach is very important that you get into that conversation in connecting, making your connection with people. Uh, you got to start treating people like people, right? And and which is why a lot of time when, when I offer my um, my email list or growing my email list. I don't necessarily call it a newsletter. I don't want people on my newsletter. I want people to receive my, my emails. <laughs> I want people to receive my email because a lot of time I share tips and inspirational stories or transformational stories in my email. And I'm seeing them as someone that's like close to me, not not a stranger who just happened to stumble upon my newsletter. Newsletter sounds so, so impersonal to me. Um, so that's just me, right? But conversational starter is going to help you building that community so that you have more people, more audience wanting to hear from you, wanting to engage. They're more open to engage with you. They're more open to receive anything that you are putting out into the world. And the uh, conversation starter are really the beginning of, of that relationship building. Um, so a lot of, let me give you some example of conversational starter. You can ask for recommendation. You can ask your audience, uh, what are some of the things that they like? Uh, where are they from? What, what's their favorite? I don't know. Are they a pet or a dog person? I'm definitely, so interestingly, I'm a cat person, but it seemed to me that I am attracting a lot of dog person. So there you have it. Conversation starter. So those are, the, that's the, the number five category. So let me just wrap up and summarize the five categories of social media posts you must try starting today. And the way that you can try this is, again, open up your calendar, whether you're a digital person or your paper planner person, doesn't matter. Just open up your calendar, go to your monthly calendar spread, and you're going to plug in all five categories on Monday through Friday. If you want to post every day, great. If you don't want to post every single day, then you get to decide which day goes with what. But you have a mixture of all five categories. And those five categories are the brand awareness, authority post, authority building, community building, promoting your business, 
and conversational starter. So those are the five categories that you must try to pose on your social media and guarantee you when you narrow it down to just these five categories, it takes a lot of headaches out on what should I be posting today? Okay, because when you see that you have authority building on schedule for Wednesday, then what are some of the things that you can establish your authority? Posting your blog, posting your podcast, posting something, an article that is specific to your niche, something that establishes you with the credibility, with the authority. Um, those are the type of things that you can post. Okay, so it eliminated a lot of this overwhelm and stress for you to think about what you need to post. Now, I promised you that I was going to give you a cookie. And since you're staying up until this point, so I am going to give you a cookie. And I have actually put together a hundred different examples of social media post inspiration that you can post on your social media based on these five categories. So within these top five categories, each one of them, you will have 20 inspirations that you can use to post for that particular categories. Okay, so there's a hundred of them that I have put together and you can grab a copy, you can grab my cookie at freebie, no, there's no S, freebie, let's fix that, freebie.braveyourbrand.com. Okay, so let me give you that website again. Why is it not showing up? Why does it like the S? Here. Okay, there we go, freebie.braveyourbrand.com, and you can grab a copy of it, there's a hundred of them. So basically this is your guide to operating on your social media post, wake up in the morning and have that sanity install back into your life so that you don't have to keep thinking about what do I post next? What do I need to post today? Yeah, so I hope that you can just print it out or keep it somewhere on your desktop and plug into your calendar. I'm totally an action person, action-oriented implementation person. So instead of just downloading it and keeping it on your digital shelf, I'm going to ask you to download it, but actually print it out, keep it somewhere, and plug it into your calendar every single day for the rest of the month, okay? And start creating some content. Tell your story around these five categories, I promise you, it's going to lead your, your business to somewhere rather than having to scrambling around, figuring out what to post and being all stressed out. And therefore, you don't even show up in one single day. Instead of doing that, grab the freebie, grab my cookies and download it. Keep it somewhere. You can see it. Better yet, put it onto your calendar so that you can actually have implementation, implementation, take some action, changing that, that clean, clean, cleaned up that cobwebs that you have collected on your social media. Because we like to see you, we like to hear you. And if you are starting to using it for a week, make sure that when you use it, tag me to your post, okay? Come back to the post, come back to my, to my videos and just drop me a big red heart and just say, thank you for your cookie. Okay, just say, thank you for your cookie. And I will be here. Um, if you have any question, put it in the comment and I will be happy to come circle back and answer them for you. All right, where can you get a copy? Again, it's on freebie.braveyourbrand.com. And you can grab that five different categories of social media posts that you must try. And you get all 20 for each categories of inspiration, what to post. All right. Thank you so much. And I will see everyone next week with another live training. Bye. Hey, beautiful. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this podcast and found values from this episode, I would love for you to leave me a rating and review. Now, as a token of my appreciation, after you have left your review, 
I want you to take a screenshot of it and send it to me via email at michelle at elevatelifecoaching.org and I will buy your next cup of coffee. I promise. One thing that I was struggling with in my early years of business was finding the right people to connect with. It feels like you are on this entrepreneur journey on your own. Sometimes we all just need friends who can share our dreams and goals and who can relate to us what we're going through as we grow our business together. If you are a woman coach who is ready to grow your coaching business and you're looking for strategies to get seen, get hurt, and get hired, I want to invite you to come and find me in our community on Facebook at the Visibility Confidence Lounge. This is a community of heart-centered woman coaches who are looking to grow their coaching business by creating engaging, authentic, visible content with storytelling for their business to get more leads and attract more clients. I will see you at my next tea party. Bye now.